everybody and welcome back to Angie's Jungle House. Today we're going to be doing the last plant room tour as you know it. This room I don't have a whole lot of stuff in and it's because I wanted to give it a good do-over before I started filling it up because I didn't want to have to have all that stuff in there and take it all out. So I kind of wanted to hold off on stocking this room up. Um, but I do have some stuff that I have been using a lot up here. So I'm going to give you guys a quick tour and start the documenting process of the renovation. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys basically everything that I possibly can and how I'm styling it. And the theme is for your cheap. Uh, because this is an old, this is only a temporary fix. Um, I don't have money to gut everything and rerun electrical and plumbing up here, so I'm just putting a band-aid on the ugly until I have the funding to do so. But honestly, this color scheme is really driving me nuts. So let's get into the final tour. Ladies, this is what you see when you walk into the plant room. Um, if you guys saw my Instagram post yesterday, uh, these windows just got cleaned. So now you can see out of them, which is really awesome. There is now like an amazing amount of light. There is so much light coming in from this room. It lights up the hallway, which has always been pretty dark. Um, so that's a thing. Anyways... We're going to start off with like the left hand side. So right here, um, I have my spare, my guest bed, my single guest bed. So guess what? When I have a couple stay with me, guess who gets to sleep in this bed? Me. Anyways, so it's a bed I could just not, like I got to keep this bed. This frame belonged to my grandmother and that belonged to... Her Auntie M. Uh, the quilt that I have on it, I got it at a thrift store for like five or ten bucks. Yes, it is Christmas theme, and yes, it is gonna stay up here all year round. Um, I did just finally make a ply board um, base for it. Unfortunately, the no box spring will fit because this is such an old old bed. Um, I could not find a box spring to fit, so ply board it is, but I finally got that all set up so people can actually sleep on it. The mattress barely squeezes in there, by the way. Um, a chair and a broom. This is a sweet closet. Um, unfortunately, we will not be opening that door because I would have to jump out of the way. And if you guys are looking at all of these, these are some paint swatches. Um, this is the color I will be painting the room. It is a gray one. The room is so green right now. It shows up like this disgusting color in this light. But it is gray, I promise. Um, you can see the paint swatches on there. But I picked up two gallons of this for nine bucks at Menards. It is Dutch Boy Ultra Clean. So it's like a, you know, 30 dollar gallon paint got two gallons for less than 20 bucks so that's going to be great for um the walls uh, i'm using leftover paint from the stairs on the floor and leftover trim paint from the rest of the house i just keep rolling gallon after gallon so when one runs out i go buy a new one but so that's that Chilling in this corner, I have my philodendron little hope, my thematophyllum hope Salome, um, which is doing really super good. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know that this guy has been like in worse shape. I was down to like three leaves and now it's just plugging out all kinds of new growth. I got this new big beautiful leaf, which... Makes me very, very happy. Anyways, we have the um, greenhouses. I'm not going to cover what's in these. With the exception of the fact that 
The great elbow is still there with its half moon leaf and all its glory propagating. Um, I'm going to move around the greenhouses to this dimly lit corner. Uh, this I'm using these racks that I picked up out of the basement for now. These are just going to have to do. They came with the house, so free. Or $72,000, whatever. Um, I have a broom to sweep some things. I have painter's tape. Don't know why that's up here right now. Keeping plastic pots, some pebbles, some packing supplies, which I get these from work. Um, so I don't pay anything for them, and they're already recycled materials, so I'm recycling them again. We just throw them away, so I use those for packing my goods. Um, I've got a couple glass um, cookie or cake pans and stuff like that. They work good to put on the wire racking. Cinnamon, because every gardener needs cinnamon. Tape, hydro spikes, box of miscellaneous things, mostly um, swag hooks and S hooks and plant label tags. Those work great for things. It's supposed to be in here, my floral tape. Neem oil, because everybody needs that. The alcohol is supposed to go here, but I don't remember where I put it. Got some binders, twine, or jute. Some little um, plastic pots, nursery pots. These have been bleached and washed. Uh, wet ones. Some more packing material. Osmocote and plastic wrap and muffin tins and cake pans and an empty shelf. Here's a box of miscellaneous. Oh my God. See, I didn't have to go out and buy tape. There's now two of them up here because I couldn't find my packing tape the other day. Anyways, this little hall table here has to go. This cannot remain in the plant room. This is a very, very old piece of furniture um, from like the late 1700s. So I don't put anything wet on here. This is literally just holding some dry supplies and it shouldn't even be doing that. Like I feel really bad. Like this is, this would be an expensive, expensive piece of furniture. <laughs> and especially for around here. Um, what, Wisconsin was here since 1776? So yeah, this is from like the beginning of Wisconsin times. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. I've got all my potting supplies, the worm castings, vermiculite, perlite, sphagnum, uh, a big block of sphagnum peat moss. Picked this guy up for eight bucks. Uh, it was on clearance at the end of season. That is also, it's also a compressed block. So there's a lot of sphagnum in there. Um, my garbage. And yes, guys, I use Miracle Girl Potting Mix. Slay me. Um, anyways, we have a little, little window here. I am keeping my... Um, philodendron deja vu and my pink princess and these two benches I got for free at uh on the Facebook marketplace they were used for like 4th of July legit so she said they were great for 4th of July seating um and they've been doing so for many years but they need new paint one's a little bit rotten on the end there by the pink princess but they're gonna work for plant stands Below that, I've been storing all my heavier items, terracotta, ceramic, um, stoneware, also a couple baskets. Oh, my mouth is watering. I just had fried ice cream, so, like, your girl was hungry. And here is my sweet string of bananas. I've been keeping this in here now because it's just, I'm getting sick of trimming it all the time. At least if I left it in the plant room, I mean... That is like some real stuff. Schlong. The plant is hanging about four and a half feet off the ground, so. But yeah. So I guess this is like, I'll give you, I'll pan around the room for you real quick. And give you kind of an idea. It's not a very large room. 
It's like 13 by 13 or something like that. It's bigger than the master, the quote unquote master bedroom. But it has a smaller closet. But this is kind of what you see. Oh, I guess I could show you the wide angle. That little punch out in the room next to the closet works really good to store a bed in a. Eh? So, yeah. I can't wait to get on the renovations. So, stay tuned for those. We will be starting those um, quite shortly. Hopefully paint this weekend. Bye. So, I will see you guys in the next video. And as always, happy planting.